the next sorting algorithm that we have to study is selection sort so what is the algorithm for selection sort first we will try to understand the idea of selection sort in selection sort like uh, the previous sorting algorithms we have to sort the values we have to arrange the values either in increasing or decreasing order of their values or ascending or descending order of their values so uh, for in general we we try to find out the ascending order of their values and we sort it like this so in selection sort we have to find the smallest element within the array and we have to put it in the first place then we have to find the second smallest element and we have to put it in the second place then we have to find out the third smallest element and we have to put it in the third place and so on so by using this particular concept we can find the minimum value each time and we can put that particular value in its proper place so the idea is simple we have to maintain two sub arrays the first sub array in which the numbers are already sorted in ascending order and the remaining sub array second part will contain all the values which is unsorted we have to find the minimum value of from them and we have to put that particular minimum element to its proper place so in every iteration of selection sort the minimum element from the unsorted sub array is picked out and moved to the sorted sub array so first smallest element will be coming in the first place second smallest element will be coming in the second place and so on so this is the algorithm for selection sort we will try to understand this algorithm by using this example now suppose this is the array in which there are values 10 14 27 33 35 19 42 and 44 so first we will try to find out the minimal or element of this particular array so the smallest element in the array is what it is 10 okay starting from the first element we will try to find out the smallest element so first in first iteration what we will do we will point a pointer minimum called minimum to the first element so 10 is the first element we will say it is the minimum element of the array now we will try to compare it with the second element 14 so 14 is obviously larger than 10 so we don't have to do anything then 27 27 will be compared with 10 the location of minimum element is first element 10 so obviously 27 is greater than 10 don't have to do anything then 33 will be compared with 10 again the minimum element is 10 33 will not be exchanged here then 35 and 10 will be compared so obviously 10 will again be the minimum value then we have 19 42 and 44 so in the first iteration the value 10 will be suggested as a minimum element so we have found the smallest element in the array and it's already placed in the first place in second iteration we will set value 14 as index minimum now 14 will be compared with all the other elements so 14 will be compared with 27 33 35 19 42 and 44 so obviously 14 is the second smallest element in the array so we don't have to exchange it with all, any other element next comes 27 in the third iteration we will have the value as minimum as 27 the third element so 27 will be compared with all the other elements so here you will see 10 and 14 have become sort, sorted now 27 will be compared with all the other elements so 27 will be compared with 33 obviously 27 is less so minimum element will remain 27 and 27 and 35 will be, will be compared again 27 will be the minimum element now here comes 19 which is smaller than 27 so obviously 10 and 14 are already exchanged we don't have to do anything for that those elements now 27 and 19 will be exchanged right because 19 is the smaller element than 27 so our new minimum value will become 19 so it will be moved to the uh, it will be set as the minimum value of the array now 19 will be compared with 42 and 44 we don't have to do anything 
we have found we have found the third smallest element as 19 so it will come after this 10 14 and in place of 27 we will put the value 19 here so we found after third iteration the third smallest value next 33 will be compared with all the other elements so you can see 33 will be compared with 35 don't have to do anything then 27 so obviously 27 is less than 33 so minimum index will come here at 27 so minimum value will be 27 it will be compared with 42 and 44 though so 27 is less than 42 and 44 minimum value remain will remain 27 and it will be exchanged by this particular value 33 so 33 will be coming here and 27 will be, will be coming here then 35 next will be in will become the next element to compare 35 will be compared with 33 33 is minimum than uh, smaller than 35 so 33 will be set as minimum then 33 will be compared with 42 and 44 so 42 and 44 are already greater numbers so 33 will be exchanged with 35 then 33 and 35 will be compared and 33 and 35 will be exchanged their exchanging their position then 35 will be compared with 42 and 30, 44 so after that after the last iteration we will find the sorted elements 10 14 19 27 33 35 42 and 44 so in this way we have to set a minimum index to the smallest value in the array and we have to compare it with all the other elements if we found the minimum element we have, we have to find we have, we have found a value which is less than the searching element then we have to just put the index minimum to that particular value again we have to compare with all the other elements if we found the smallest element then we have to put that particular value in its proper place so the first smallest value will be coming in first place second smallest element will be coming in second place and so on in this way this algorithm works